Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today we actually have to talk about Amazon, specifically the reviews. You can't trust them. Here's what's going on. Now, I've talked about this in the past before, and I think this is an important one because, quite frankly, I think it's a violation of trust uh, and, in some cases, privacy. But we're going to talk about this because, quite frankly, some companies are hacking the system in various ways. Now, this is what's going on, and the reason why we're bringing this up is because the US FTC, or Federal Trade Commission, has approved a final consent order on its very first ever enforcement action over a case involving review hijacking, or when a marketer steals consumer reviews of another product to boost the sales of their own. Now, in this case, the FTC has ordered the supplement, uh, supplements retailer, the Bountiful Company, they make uh, Nature's Bounty Vitamins, as well as other brands, they've ordered them to pay $600 thousand dollars us for deceiving customers on amazon where it used a feature on the back end to merge the reviews of different products to make some of their products appear to have better ratings and reviews than they otherwise would have had if they had been independently marketed under their own listings. Now, this case exposes how sellers have been exploiting an Amazon feature that allows sellers to request the creation of a quote-unquote variations relationship between different products and SKUs that they own. The feature is meant to help marketers and consumers alike as it creates a single detail page on Amazon.com that shows similar products that are different only in narrow or specific ways, and that's according to experts. FTC's explanation. Those differences are things like a different color, size, quantity, or flavor, but at the end of the day, the ingredients are the same. So if you've got a cocktail of, let's say, a multivitamin, the ingredients are the same, but maybe one is berry flavor and one is orange flavor. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe one is bigger, one is smaller, or maybe one has 100 pills, maybe the other has 50 pills, but at the end of the day, you're getting the same vitamin. So, for instance, a t-shirt, and this is their example, may have a dozen SKUs associated with one another because they come in a wide variety of, of colors. Obviously, we're talking about vitamins here, so I wanted to bring that home. For shoppers, it's helpful to see all of these options on one page so you can pick an item that best matches your needs and budget. Now, in the case of supplements, the feature could be used to combine the same products by merging various SKUs featuring different quantities like 50, 100, 200, etc. However, the Bountiful uh, company exploited this feature on Amazon to merge its newer products with older, well-established products, which actually had different formulations. That's right, meaning the reviews from one product that had a different, let's say, vitamin makeup were basically now being applied to a new product that had a different vitamin makeup than the previous one. So in one of these examples, uh, essentially the retailer asked Amazon to merge newer supplements like Nature's Bounty Stress Comfort Mood Booster and Nature Bounty Stress Comfort Peace of Mind Stress Stress relief gummies with three other products. Their anxiety and stress relief Ashwagandha KSM 66 tablets, whatever the heck that is. Uh, and you can tell I'm not a vitamin person, really. Um, Nature's Bounty Botanical Sleep Tablets and Nature's Bounty Valerian Root Capsules. Not only did the older products have different formulations than the newer ones, they also had different formulations from one another. In an internal, uh, basically in an internal company uh, memo from August 2020, the company even stated that approximately 1,000 ratings and 4.5 star average ratings the newer products had were because of this variation relationship, meaning they knew exactly what they were doing. Now, before the merge, that stress comfort one only had 26 reviews and 3.2 stars. In an email, uh, an e-commerce director at Bountiful noted that uh, consumers, quote unquote, unfortunately, hadn't loved the stress comfort products, but their sales had, quote, spiked the second we got variated, uh, we variated the pages and then continued to grow meaning they bumped it up because of other positive reviews of their products. And so that 3.2 went much higher, and then people started buying it, and here we are. The company also merged newer zinc gummies with established products like Nature's Bounty Calcium and Magnesium Zinc Caplets, uh, Nature's Bounty Zinc 50 Mega, Mega G, MG Mega... Milligram, milligram, oh my god, I can't think today. 50 milligram caplets. Again, different products, different formulations. It then repeated that process with vitamins and supplements across numbers of categories, brain focus tablets, elderberry soft gels, vitamin and gummies, et cetera, et cetera. I'm getting a real primer in just how many vitamins there are out there, not to mention, uh, you know, kids' vitamins, et cetera, et cetera. So the FTC cited and screenshot more than a dozen examples between 2020 and 2021 in its original complaint against uh, against Nature's Bounty, which in 2021 sold its core brands, including Nature's Bounty and Sundown, to Nestle. 
Nestle. That's right, the massive conglomerate uh, of food maker. You may know them from their candy bars, but they do a ton of stuff. Now, as a result of these product merges, consumers uh, who happen to be acro uh, come across any of these newer products would believe them to be better received than they were in reality, as they were benefiting from the merged ratings and reviews of other differentiated items. Now, that exactly is one of the problems that we have here, is that you're looking at an Amazon review, you know, especially on vitamins, <clears throat> which are there to design, you know, to help your health. And if you've got something that's really crappy, but it's getting boosted from, let's say, another product that actually is better from the same company, now what are you, buying the junk or you're being misled? And you definitely are. And so that's one of those things. The other thing that we've seen, too, is essentially um, it has come to light, especially internationally, where people are paid to simply give positive reviews, uh, essentially by brokers or the product makers themselves. And so you're seeing all these reviews. Oh, I tried, you know, XYZ product and it was amazing and it cleared up my skin or solved whatever or you know save world hunger whatever whatever it was and now people are getting a false sense of okay well everybody likes this you know the more of the reviews the better well not necessarily if you've got a thousand reviews and 800 of them are fake and positive with 200 being legitimate which maybe drags you know drags the average way down and so that is a huge issue. We've got to basically be careful. When you're on Amazon, I would highly recommend looking at other sources, especially if it's critical to your life, to make sure that you're getting positive reviews. And there are also a lot of fake websites out there when you're shopping for stuff. So let's say you're shopping for a new refrigerator. Maybe it's got fake reviews on Amazon, but there's going to be websites that say like refrigeratorreviews.com and it's owned by like Maytag or whoever. I'm not blaming Maytag. I'm not saying they do, but that was the first uh, refrigerator that came to mind. But you name the refrigerator company, maybe they've got these fake sites that say, well, all the other refrigerators are crap and so you should buy the Maytag, whatever. Again, not saying Maytag is doing that. Please don't sue me. I'm using that as an example. But these are the things that we've got to understand. And it goes for any product that that you've got so do your homework your actual homework do your research go to things like uh, you know consumer affairs or consumer reports uh, you know those kinds of things find legitimate sources uh, that are actually reviewing these things that is not sponsored content or owned because quite frankly these reviews are suspect and everybody needs to know this and please like share follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP where hopefully I'll have nothing but positive reviews and feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well hopefully all thumbs up and as always stay safe Stay online and please attempt to stay private and now informed on reviews. Thanks, everybody.